the name of Jesus, I'll ask that all, all of you would please stand with us on this morning as we worship the Lord together. Thank you for joining us through social media. Thank you for those that came to the building. And we want those through social media to come on to the buildings one of these days. We don't want to just talk to you through a camera. We want you to come on in and worship with us. We welcome you on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Henderson, and we are just so excited to go into the presence of the Lord together. Amen. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh 
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We can have fun in the Lord. We can praise the Lord. It's a happy time. We don't have to be so tightened up and bottled up. We can give God all our praise. We party for Jesus. We give God all the praise. This is the best time of my life. When I come into this house of the Lord, my beautiful spiritual family, I just want to give God praise.
somebody. Don't greet your wife. You, you already kissed her this morning. Hopefully. Hopefully. Just greet somebody real quick. Greet somebody real quick. Say, I love you. It's good to see you. And then we're going to go into the world. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.
want to go quickly pray. Father, we love you and we praise you. We acknowledge that you are the Lord. You are sovereign. You are Savior. And you are sanctified. We need you, God. We ask that you open up our hearts and our minds as we go into your word. Yes, Lord. Flower fades, the grass withers, yes. but your word yes. will stand yes. forever. What we aren't, God make us. Yes. What we don't have, God give it to us. Yes. And, who are we, and who we are becoming, what you got forming yes. in us. Yes. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 want to go to um, Acts, the ninth chapter. And I want to read 15 through 26. 9, 15 through 26. And if you don't mind, uh, I want to read 11 verses, or it's probably actually 12 verses, to be stand, I stand to be corrected. Give me just a little bit, just a little bit. The Bible says this as we're getting there, Acts 9, 15. Please help Mama Fady down when she gets ready to sit down. Please help her. Please help her. Please help her. The Bible says, but the Lord said, go for Saul is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles mm -hmm. and to kings as well as to the people of Israel. And I will show him how much he must suffer for my name's sake. So Ananias went and found Saul. He laid his hands on him and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road, has sent me so that you might regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Say that with me. And be filled, and be filled, with, the filled with, the with the Holy Ghost. Instantly, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he regained his sight. Then he got up and was baptized. Afterward, he ate some food and regained his strength. Saul stayed with the believers in Damascus for a few days, and immediately he began preaching. Somebody say preaching. Preaching, preaching. About, Jesus. about Jesus. Preaching, preaching. About, Jesus. about Jesus. In the synagogue saying, he is indeed the son of God. All who heard him were amazed. Isn't this the same man who caused such devastation among Jesus' followers in Jerusalem? They asked, and didn't he come here to, uh, and didn't he come here to arrest them and take them in chains to the leading priest? Saul's preaching became more and more powerful, and the Jews in Damascus couldn't refute his proofs that Jesus was indeed the Messiah. After a while, some of the Jews plotted together to kill them. And they were watching for him day and night at the city gate so they could murder him. But Saul was told about their plot. Help me, Holy Ghost. But Saul, but Saul was told about their plot. So during the night, some of the other believers lowered him in a large basket through an opening in the city wall. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers. But they were all afraid of him. They did not believe him. I uh, believe he had truly become a believer. A disciple, your translation said. Uh, just just for a few minutes, moments before you take this seat, I want to talk about the Great Commission. Amen. We'll start a new set, the Great, the great Commission. Great commission. Great Amen. Great. You may be seated in our Lord's presence. The Great Commission. Uh, Jesus says in Matthew 28, 16 through 18, he says this, Sister Nash, he says, Then the eleven, the text says, uh, Then the eleven disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some of them doubted. Are you hearing me? Uh, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have given you all authority. In heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples. Uh, that, that, that's a clear command. He says, I've given you authority. He says, I want you to go and make 
disciples yeah. of all nations. That means black, Spanish, uh, uh, Honduran, whatever. I, I, it doesn't matter. I want you to make disciples of all cultures and creeds for my glory. I, I want you to baptize them. Watch this here. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. And then I got. I just I got to just tell you this here. The Bible says not this one is three, but it says these three are one. The God I serve, Mama Faye, doesn't have multiple personalities. He, he's not. He's not crazy. He, 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 he's not. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Schizophrenic. One time he's a son. One time he's this. No, 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 no. These three: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. They are equal in person. Equal in personality. They're separate in personality. Watch this. Equal in power. These three are one. Not this one is three. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Baptize them in the Father, the Son, and make disciples. He said, and lo, I am with you always. The great commission. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Allen. He is the great I am. Watch this. The commission. I think that we have got some things a little mixed up. We, we were taught by Tasha Cobbs, uh, Sister Stacy, that for your glory. Yes. I'll do anything. Amen. But we are doing it for my glory. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We have forgotten who is our Lord and our Savior. Right, right. To God be the glory for the things that yes. he has done. Now, now, as we work through this new series, Sister Nay, I want us to understand that whatever God has called <laughs> you to do, is significant, but it is not everything. We are not everything. God's will is massive. Yeah. Watch this here. But yet you are essential to his massive Amen. will. Amen. I, I, did you hear me? Yeah. Now, now, when I, now, now when, if I was to go and buy a, a, a Corvette, my, 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 my wife said that she wants a Corvette, and, and uh, 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 we'll see about that. We'll, we'll see what God does. <laughs> if God make it happen, she'll get one. I said, if, Lord, if you do it. Now, now when, you go, when, you go, when you go and look at a Corvette, nobody, watch me here, nobody, uh, Brother Harris, nobody goes and looks at a Corvette and says, how does the calibers work on the braking system? Right. Nobody says that. When you go, go you go look at a Bugatti, you don't say how does the how does the fuel line work. You see this car, but 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 let the caliper go out in that uh, 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 Corvette. Yeah. I know it's small, it's, but but yet it is essential. Let the caliper go out. You will lose yeah. your life. And beloved, we are the body yeah. of Christ. That's and right. the hand shouldn't say to the foot, "I don't need you." Yeah. And the Bible says, if we're all eyes, that's crazy. That's a monster. Right. We need each other. You need me. I need you. We need God. I know, I know, I know, I know you heard this. I know you heard this. As long as I got, I love, I love Vicki Wines and I love when she sings and I get excited in my spirit. She says, as long as I've got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. That is not a true statement. We need our brothers and our sisters. Help me, Holy Ghost. Now, I'm, I'm getting a little further, but watch this here. When Paul, Paul was on his high horse, he said, get rid of John Mark. He's not fit for this. Right. And, when, and when Paul got discouraged and, and when Paul was in prison, he said, get my books and tell John to come on and hang with me. We need one another. Yes. Like a giant tree. We're just a family. We need yes. the leaves. Yes. We need the water. Yes. Nobody in here is non-essential. You are essential. Essential. You are part of what we call the micro will of God. Help me make, yes. help me hold it. The micro is the smaller part of his macro will. Do you really, do you really think that you're everything? Do you really, listen, what did Jesus do before you got here? What about John and what, what, what about Adam and what about Eve, beloved? He, he tells, he tells Job, Job was talking crazy to him in Job 37. He said, look, what are you doing 
doing, God? Where are you at, God? I want to talk to you, God. And then Jesus stepped and said, wait, hold up, bro. He said, well, hold up, buddy. He said, he said hold up, hold up, hold up. He said, where were you when, when I threw Jupiter in the sky? Well, where were you when I put the milky wet? Where were you when I told the ocean to come so far? And yeah. beloved, until this moment, the ocean will get up high. And as he said, you proud wave. But the, but the Bible says that God put bars on the river, yeah. on the water. Now, how can bars stop the water? Right. But water goes through the bars. But, but, but baby, but baby, but baby, when God says stop, you can yeah. stop. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's right. so, so, so he says, where were you? When I did this. And, and then I'm reminded of, of Elijah. The Lord says, Elijah, what, what's up, Elijah? Why are you here? He said, I'm the only one that's loyal. I'm the only one that's faithful. I'm the only one that's seeking your name. And Mama Fady, the Lord said, hold up, bro. I, I love what you're doing. But he said, I got 7,000 that have not bowed down. I've got 7,000 that have not kissed. Beloved, beloved, we are a part of, we are the micro part of his macro will. Yes, you're valuable. Yes, you're essential. But notice what Jesus said. If you be faithful over a few things, yeah. I'll make you rule over many. Yeah. Beloved, I know you're doing a great job, but it's just a few things yeah. compared to the massive uh, mega theos. God, listen, he wants to use you, but it's not all of that. Come on now. God sometimes have to cut us down. Uh, yeah. You know the term we call, we call uh, grounding us? Yes. Uh -huh. Come on now. We think it's putting on restriction. No, grounding us is making us walk on the ground like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Good. Don't Come get on. too big. Yeah. <laughs> and, and look, I, this is a hashtag. I'm trying to preach to somebody's soul. Don't My ever goodness. be too big to become great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm preaching. I, listen. I don't be too big to become great. Greater is better than big, beloved. Right. We need one another. The Great Commission. The Great Commission. The Great Commission. Commission is a command. A purpose. God, help me preach a text today. It's a, listen, it's an instruction, a command, or duty given to a person or a group of people. This ministry is too big for me. Watch it. It's too big for you. If God... Set it up, Mama Fady. Then it's too big. If you can do, let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me rock. Let me just. Uh, if you can do it by yourself, God didn't give it to you. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Wow. Come on. That's right. Wow. Wow. Good. Wow. Am I talking good? Yes, sir. And keep on letting the Lord heal you. You're looking good. Yeah. Yes, the Lord. Watch this here. Now, watch this here. Watch this here. Watch this here. So the Great Commission. It's an instruction or command or duty to a group of people. Watch this here. A group of people officially charged with a particular function. It's a charge. Watch this here. Given, it's, a, it's an order given, and it gives them authorization, authority. You have been given authority from God to operate in what he has called, what he has called you to do. There's an area, there's an arena. God has called you for a purpose. And watch this here. What am I going to do when I run up into a situation? What did he tell Moses in the fourth chapter of Exodus? Moses said, the people won't believe me. The people won't follow me. You know what the Lord said? What is in your hand? What is in your hand? And Mama Fady, he said, he, I, I just got a dead piece of wood. But wait, wait, wait. When you give God your dead piece of wood, and when you give God your dead rod, it becomes God's rod. And I heard Mama Fady say this. When you, the same baseball in my hand doesn't have the same value as in Babe Ruth's hand. God, lay your hand on me, Jesus. And that's what Paul did, saw, Jesus did with Saul. He laid his hand on me. Good God, I'm preaching better than you said. Yeah. My goodness. But if God lays his hand on you, yeah. that's the problem. We that's the problem. We got pastors ordaining folks. Oh, oh baby, but did God ordain you? Right. 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 Does God see? Right. Does God see that gift in you? Yeah. Yeah. We ordaining ourselves, calling ourselves. Yeah. God said, I got you. Right. So so Jesus laid his hands on Saul. Yeah. Yeah. When God got his hands on you, the same hands that put his hands on your shoulder. Is it, you know, the Bible says in Ezekiel that he said, the Lord said in Ezekiel that he picked me up by my locks. Oh, wow. he, the Holy Ghost picked him up by his hair and wow. set him in a valley full of dry bones. Yes. 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 Right now. Right, dry bones. Mm -hmm. Very dry. Uh -huh. God said, 
says, son of man, can these bones live again? Mama Fady, you know what you know what he said? I don't know. That's the great answer. I don't know. What, what, what are we gonna do? Thou knowest. Thou knowest. So Jesus said, prophesy. Not what you want to say, but preach a word. Tell them what I told them. Yeah. Had they stood in my counsel, yeah. they would have caused the people to be holy. And, yeah. and, 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 and listen, it's a lot of weight on this. To whom much is given, much is required. Yeah. Yes, I got one task to present every man perfect in Jesus Christ. Yeah. If it kills me, yeah. we, try to, we try to make men and women of the king. Yeah. So he prophesied to Dead bones, distracted bones, and God, they were dirty bones. My God, my God, dirty because they was in the dirt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But whatever God has called you to do, Brother Trey, he has equipped you. Yes. 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 My grandma used to do that. That's the eye. He has <laughs> you. Let's work the test. Let's work the test. Watch this here. Now we said it's a commission, right? It's an authority. It, it, it's, it's an area, and then it's a great commission. Yeah. Great speaks of extensiveness and intensiveness. Yeah. Hear me. When God calls you, mm -hmm. you have an area to operate in. Yeah. Stay in your lane. Yeah. 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 That's why we tripping up all the Get off my toes. Yeah. <laughs> Give me room. If we work together, we, we divide and conquer. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Separate the work and take territory. Yes. Yes. It's the great. It's, it, it's extensive and intensive. Yes. If, you want, if what you do for God doesn't cost you anything, mm. ain't nobody buying it. My, my. Did you hear me? If, you are un, if you have zero passion, stop doing it. Right. Did you hear me? Yeah. Don't be up here leading worship and sad and right. oh, give back the praise. Yeah. You know, I like I like when my sister does. I like when she gets into it. She gets yeah. this and she gets into the worship. Yeah. Wait, 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 no, wait, let's back up. God steps into her. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on right. Then she steps into the worship. Yeah. You know what I mean to step into worship? It's ministering to me. Yes. Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Mm, my, my. And then she goes and picks y'all up yes. and say, come back in my worship yes. service. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 God gets in me. Yes. Oh. I get in the worship. Yes. I get you and yes. let's worship. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes. My, my, my goodness. Yes. Oh, the men will praise him. Yeah. You know what I found out, uh, Sister Nate? You just, so you ain't even got to talk to God. Yeah. Just praise him. Yeah. He, yeah. he comes on in. You, you ain't got to tell him to come on in the room. Yeah. You start to. Right. Like, you, start, yeah. you know what it is. You know what praise is to God? Yeah. It's that good old cologne. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's you know, hearing me. That's right. Like, like the fragrance. Yeah. 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 Like do on the rolls. Yeah. Lilies. So you worship God. Yeah. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> worship him, yeah. honor him. Yeah. He will save folks. Yeah. He'll deliver folks. Yeah. All we gotta get is God to come on in the room, yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah. And God is the deliverer. Yeah. So we got this man Saul, Sister Teresa. This man Saul was nothing before he met God. Yeah. Nothing in essential. He was good with what he was doing, but his eyes haven't seen what he was going to see because God had not got in the picture. Yes. And that's I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know they lying. I know they, but, but I know they stealing. I know they they chasing. Watch this here. I used to do that stuff too. But right. but, 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 but when God gets involved, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. to the liar, justify. Yeah. To the drug dealer, justify. Yes. To the homosexual, justify. Yes. And watch me work here. Who you were today, you, today is different when God gets involved. Yes. You turn your life. Yes. That's all it is. You know what? You know what the homosexual's problem? Their mind is mixed up. But let God sort the pieces out. Yes. God! Yes. Let them organize your life. Let them order your steps. Yes. I've heard of men that like other men. Watch me here. Let, let me preach.
preach how I want to preach. Right. But when they got saved, they found a desire for one or for women that they could. Oh my gosh, she looks good. Because God is a game changer. God is a life changer. God is a lifesaver. God is a miracle worker. God will turn you around. And listen, the, the, listen, the problem is we're born with our backs against God. We're born upside down. And God says, I want to turn you right side up. We mixed up. We confused. But if he lays his hands on you, beloved, he'll never be the same. Are you hearing me? Has he laid his hands on you? Has he spoke to you? Has he whispered in your ear? Has he touched your heart? Has he changed some things? Let him move. Let him move. Let him move. Let him move. Yes, Lord. And you looking good, Sister Dietrich. Praise God. Y'all look. Yes, thank you. My sister said, Me too. She didn't say Express something to you. When God puts his hands on you, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the Saul. Saul says, Paul says in Corinthians, and he says in Acts, did it please God for him to call me from birth? Watch me here. When God calls you to do something, God is glorified mm -hmm. and satisfied when you do exactly what he told you to do. Yeah. Imagine that God gets pleased yeah. when I leave worship. Yes. God gets pleased. He's pleased. Yes. Imagine the holy God who needs nothing, mm. who knows everything, yes. who has vast wisdom saying, I love yes. when you do that. Yes. Beloved, God loves when you operate where he has called you to be. Yes. Now, 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 I know some of us in here with trumpets, some of y'all trumpets, some of y'all saxophone, and you got in saxophone, there's this in class, this different, there's an alto, and then some of y'all are flutes. But beloved, God doesn't want you to be like me. He, he, listen, some of us are guitars. He wants you, he wants you to play your guitar, Brooke. He wants you to play your guitar. Yeah. So some of us, that's my different areas, right? Yeah. But listen, now, 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 we, now, Sister Fallon, I can't be like you, but when the wind of the Holy Ghost blows through your saxophone, yeah. Yeah. when he blows through your bugle, yeah. it's not me, it's the God in me yeah. expressing himself through me. Yeah. Now, why does the sound come out different? Because he knows what kind of container that I am. Yeah. Wow. yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he don't want everybody on the drums. I need drummers drumming. I need Brother Allen to occupy his post. Do you, know do, you, do, you know do you know that Paul says this, Sister Stacy? Paul says, if I do not preach the gospel, mm. he says, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. I've got to preach the gospel. Mm. And then in the same passage, he said, it wasn't even my will to preach the gospel. Mm. I wasn't seeking God. I wasn't chasing God. Uh, it was God's will for me to do what I'm doing. Yeah. And if it's God's will, he'll make it happen. Yeah. If it's God's will, he'll empower it. If it's God's will, he'll give you a point for it. Can't nobody take your shoes but you. They've been, they've been, they've been tailor made. My suit is tailor made yes. for me. Yes. Joseph's coat was tailor made for Joseph. Yes. Yes. And they took Joseph's coat. But guess what Joseph said? You might take my coat, but the glory is still on me. <laughs> the anointing yes. is still on me. Yes. When David went to the cave of Adullam, he's in a cave. Hear me here. His mom and dad went down into the cave. Uh -huh. yes, sir. 400 men went down into the cave. Wow. And he turned that cave into a concert. A sanctuary. And beloved, I don't care who you are, where you're at, if the glory is on, if the call is on you, they'll come and find you. I heard a great message this morning. You ain't got the politic. You ain't got the scratch your way. God said, I'll send them to you. I'll fly them into you. God said, I will pro video. What does it mean to pro video? What does it mean to provide this pro video, Brother Bo? That means God sees the, He sees it before. I saw, I saw this, so I made a way. Whatever you need, I'm making a way. Whatever you want, I'm making a way. I'm making a way. Away. I'm making a way. Yes, sir. He's already making a way. Yes, he is. And we get caught up on not what we don't have instead of celebrating what I do. Get your focus right. This man, this man, this man. We just opening up the passage. This man, he says, I've got to preach the gospel. Oh, yeah. You have to do what God has called you to do. Don't let nobody stop you. 
Please don't, beloved. But don't do what you have not been called to do. Right. I can't, ex I can't, I can't right. express that enough. What did God tell you to do? Do you know what your purpose is? What's a purpose? It's the reason why a thing exists. That's right. If you don't know why you exist, you cannot fulfill your function. Beautiful. Uh, why are you here? That's right. Why are you? That, I don't. I don't. You don't got. Why are you here, brother yes. Jeremiah? Yes. Don't answer me. That's for your own. Why are you here? Yes. Do you know why you are here? In Matthew twenty-five, the Lord talks about there was a king. Oh yeah. They left some goods to his servants. He gave out five mm -hmm. talents. He gave out two talents, and he gave out one talent. Uh -huh. Now let's let's read the story back. The one, the man that had the one talent, he dug the he dug a hole, wrapped it in a napkin, That's right. and buried it. Yeah. But this man in this passage, he says, "I knew you were an austere man. Mm -hmm. you, you you reap what you didn't sow." Mm -hmm. He said, "Why didn't you put my money into use? Why didn't you put my goods mm -hmm. to use?" The one with the one had an attitude because he didn't have what the one one of the ones that the one that had five had. Mm -hmm. Use what you got, beloved. That's right. right there. <laughs> but he gives out his goods oh to his servants to their several abilities. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We complain yeah. about what, why can't I do that? Or oh, because God said I didn't make you to do that. Right. That's right. That's right. I didn't I didn't I didn't call you good. That's good. to do that. And because I didn't call you, I didn't qualify you to do that. Right. Did you hear me? Yes. In our heads, we're great, but God said, I did. do what I told you. And it's amazing how we get focused on what we don't have. God said, tap into what you do have. You are essential. You are necessary. You is good. You is kind. And you is important. <laughs> Let my breaking system go out, Sister Paris. I'm going to run off the road and kill myself. That's how valuable you are. That's right. If a certain part of your body shut down, we all going to have a problem. That's right. You, you, ever, you ever eat a burrito and want some of that tap of tea on it? Fire. It's going to be fire, but it ain't going to be shut up in your bones. <laughs> Hey, it's gonna be shot. It's gonna be fire shut up in your butt. Watch me here. Watch me. Let that. Let that part of your body shut down. Let or let that part of your body lose control. What? That's how essential you are. And you know who's a real, the real essential person is the one you can't see. You can't That's see right. your heart, but let that baby yeah, stop right. ticking a little bit. Yeah. But love you're going to go into a cardiac arrest. Yeah. We need you to serve what God has called yeah. you to serve. Yeah. Do the best you can with what yeah. you got. That's right. Yeah. We're just opening yeah. up the passage. God said, I called you to serve. But the problem is we don't know. And that's the problem. We search it. I want to do that. I want to listen, beloved. Don't, 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 don't get caught up with the fanfare. Right, that's right. In our text, it says that I'm, the Lord says, I'm gonna teach him what he must suffer for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perhaps if you knew what it what what what, what, all, what was all required, you wouldn't want this. Right, right. Come on. Right. Right. It looks that's right. 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 It looked real good. Yeah. Sister Teresa, I have weeks where I, got, I just cry. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I ain't a coward. I ain't weak. But I cry. Right. I got to get it out. Yes, right. Shout, let it all out. These are the things I can do without. Come on. <laughs> Shout, let it. Wait, say it again. Come on. These are the things I can do without. Come on. Come on. Shout. Let it all out. <laughs> You're not hearing me. We want a platform. We want a platform. We want a platform because it looks good. Paul 
Paul said, I was in the deep. I, I, it was dark. I didn't see the day. I didn't see the night. My I didn't goodness. eat. I was abused. I was in prison. I was locked up. I was beat on. And many days I received 40 stripes, save one. The one other stripe would have killed me. But for God be the glory. Beloved, if you want to go to the next level, you want to do what God said, it's going to come. And you know, we can get so far into ministry. I, I told my wife this, babe, we so, we too, you know, he, he, Ezekiel said I stepped in the water. He, he, didn't, he, he didn't say it's you of my body, but not my soul. <laughs> he didn't say that. He didn't say that. But he says I stepped over into the water. Uh -huh. And I kept on going since the state. I stepped further, and God took me to a place where it's total trust. You know what the Lord told me? He said, you are at the place where I just need you to trust me. Yes. Yes. So he said, he said, the water got up to my ankle. That's right. He said, come on. He said, come on. He said, come on. Come on. I went deeper, and he said, what? Come on. And I went deeper, and he said, what? Come on. And I went deeper, and he said, what? He, he said, come on. Come on. Right. So the water got up to my neck. Yeah. He oh, said, God. what? Come on. Yeah. And it got up to my mouth. Yeah. And God is trying to get you to a place where you can't go back. Yeah. But you got to trust him to go further. Yeah. You into this thing, I'm yeah. too deep. I can't turn back. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 I'm going to trust him. Yes. I don't care what comes. Yeah. I'll trust him. Yeah. What if he takes your kid? Come I'll trust on. him. Yeah. What if he takes your parents? I'll, I'll trust him. him. Yeah. Yeah. We in too deep. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the banks, we can't even see it no more. Yeah. Can't turn back. Right. Oh, no, no, no. I can't turn back. I'm done with the old life. Amen. Yes, Saul was done with the old life because Jesus, and beloved, beloved, don't, don't make pressure on you. The reason why we are running, help me, Holy Ghost, we're running because we realize that after we are saved, now there's a new level of accountability. Yes. So I'm saved, I'm good, but we don't want to step up to the plate and be who yes. God has called us to be yeah. because now I got to give an account. Yeah. 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 Right. What you do with my ministry? What, 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 what you do with that great personality? What you do with those songs? What, what did you do with those people? Beloved, God is going to ask me. Good God, the son of God, he's going to ask me, Pastor Henderson, what did you do with your wife? Did, did you treat her good? What did you do with Sister Stacy, yeah, yeah. Brother Jackson, Sister Barry, Sister Dan? What, what did you do? What did you do? Did you handle them right? Do you know God got upset with Moses because he got upset? He said, what the heck do y'all want? Y'all want some more? He struck the rock. Yes. 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 You know what the Lord said? Speak to the rock. Good God, you don't have to. He's already been crucified. He says, just talk to me and I'll answer you. But he allowed the people to push him further. Beloved, beloved. God is concerned with how I treat each and every one of you. Right. Friends and non friends, just alike. Yes. Yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch how you treat the person when y'all are at odds. Yes. That's the real test. Yes. Right there. Yes, sir. Yes. Because if you treat them right when they're at odds, yes. they may come back and be on the team. Yes. Did you hear? God is watching you. Yes. I want to live a life that's real. I want to serve the Lord for real. I'm not playing with this thing. I need, I need, I need, I need, Sister Nash, when I die, when I'm in, when I'm stretched here, I need to know that my life, I was one person in the gym. I was one person at home. I was one person in the bathroom. I was one person in the bed. Who are you at night? Am I one guy here at the church? Am I another guy at work? Beautiful. My goodness. <laughs> that's what you call. My, my, my that's what you call schizophrenic. That's a that's a that's a nut case. That's a case of that's a basket case. <laughs> Who are you? God laid his hands on this man, showed him what he was going to suffer for his glory. He says, if I don't do God's will, woe unto me. I want to encourage you. This is as far as we're going to go. 
get up and do what God told you to do Amen. today. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, the night is coming yes. when no man can work. Yes. We all gonna have a cooling bed unless the Lord comes. Amen. Get busy Amen. for the Lord. All right. Now, 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 how do I find out what my purpose is? John 15, John 15. What does Jesus say? He says, I am the true vine. Yes. And you are the branches. Uh -huh. He says, abide in me and let me abide in you and you will be productive. Yes, man. Now, 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 product, productivity means I'm producing something. Mm -hmm. Fruit. But you know who the produce is? Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got to tap in. You want to be productive? Tap into the, he is, he says, I'm the vine. Yeah. Everything that God has called you to be and do is in Jesus. Yes, is. Matter of fact, it is Jesus expressing himself in a, in a, a unique way in you. Uh, yeah. 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 The Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you so easy. Easy to love. But they see in the hate in you. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, wait, let me rewrite. Let me rewrite that. They see the hater in you. Yeah. Ah, the hater in you. Yeah. It makes me so uneasy yeah. to, Come on, to deal with you. We're going to the Great Commission. The Great Commission. Now, watch this here. I'm going to say this. I'm done. I'm done. The Great Commission has to be centered around one purpose. That's right. Jesus said in Luke 19.10 that I came to seek and to save the lost. If your ministry, if your purpose is not connected to that, you're doing the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you sing, sing to the glory of God. Yeah. When you pray, pray. And I, I, Colossians 3, 23 through 24 says this, do it as unto the Lord. If, if you knew that Jesus was in here, wouldn't you be a little earlier? <laughs> wouldn't you sing your best? Wouldn't you give your best? And listen, I ain't going to bet, don't worry, your pastor ain't preaching about money. Because if, 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 listen, if God, if the Holy Ghost touch your heart, you will give. I ain't got to beg you. That's God. I, you ain't never going to see me do 15 offers. <laughs> you know what? Can we round the offering up? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, the offering is fifteen thousand five hundred eighty-five dollars. Can we round? Can, right, right. Look, if you if you got a need, so we'll see. If it's fifteen thousand, glory to God. Fifteen. <laughs> My point is, whatever they give, let God do it. Yeah. Yeah. Take the handcuffs off of folks. Yes. Right. We ain't the church police. Yes. If they can't make it today, go up, that's fine. They'll be here next week. Yes. Stop yes. trying to control people and do what God called you to do in yes. love and grace. Beloved, do your duty. Do what God called yes. you to do. Yes. Listen to me here. If I don't get anything else, this is the introductory. We're going to work the text, I promise, next week. But, but hear me here. <laughs> hear me here. Whatever God has called you to do, your number one agenda. You know what my number one thing is today? Trust God. Yeah. I got one, I got one job to do. Yeah. Trust him. Yeah. And what you want me to do, God? Yeah. What do you want me to do? I need to, this is our homework. Ask the Lord, what is my purpose? Now, if you don't know, it's two reasons. It is either you're not walking close or the pastor is not a good Bible teacher so you can find out what it is. Oh, yeah, it ain't, on, it ain't only on the saints. It's on the leader. To whom much is given, much is required. You want to be big dog? It, co it costs to be the boss. Did you hear me? So some of us don't know what we are called to do because not, we're not being equipped. We're not being told. Now, watch this here. Watch this here. If you ever, now there was a story, this, I'm going to end it with this. There was a story with, with, with a bit, with, 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 it appeared to be a, a big old pigeon. It's a big old pigeon. It was about 15 other little pigeons. 
They was just having a good old time. And they kept looking at like, wow, this this guy, is he an alb is he an albino pigeon? He he different from us. He what's wrong with him? He he is he over, you ever see them, them them chicken wings that look like a uh, 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 turkey wing? That, that, like my God. <laughs> Did they blow up? But anyway, so so it was this it was this baby bird, sister B Rook, but he was a super size. Mm -hmm. Then you have the little babies around there. And they kept, they, he was getting along, and, and watch this, he was getting along just fine. He, he was the youngest, but he was the biggest brother. He didn't know it. Look, watch this. And then the, and then, and then the story said a, 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 a flock of eagles. Let me, let me, it was a couple of eagles, because you know they don't, they don't hang out with a lot of people. That's, that's a hashtag. Watch who you hang out with. They don't, you can't, we can't. They don't need all the pride. They just, they, say one more time. Eagles don't need anybody. Now watch who you watch who you let get on the team. Yeah. But that's a whole other story. So this, so so <laughs> no 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 she's right. right. You know why? Because they're royal, they're royalty. Yeah. You know why? Because they wait on the wind of the Spirit of God. Yeah. All they need is God. Yeah. So 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 this big old eagle, this good big old baby eagle, only about oh, only about uh, uh, thirty two. 32 days year old. Is that how they say it? <laughs> 32 days. <laughs> but, but Mama Fanny, this, 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 this royal, this royal eagle soared. Amen. Now imagine this. This, this, this little, little baby. Uh -huh. big. He heard the wind beneath that eagle's wing. Mm -hmm. and, so, and he got attracted. Do you know that that baby eagle never walked around with the pigeons again? Mm -hmm. Something in that eagle woke something up in him. Right. I'm different. Right, right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's why I don't fit in. Right. Oh, that's why I get ostracized. Oh, that's why my. Oh, I get it. Oh, watch this. If everybody like you, then 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 you. Some, you, you, I can go there, but I. But listen, the reason why you, the reason why you don't fit in is because God, has, you're not supposed to fit in. in. You, you, we not kind of, I'm a trendsetter. I'm, I'm unique. I've been called. I've been called for the kingdom for such a time as this. That means whatever happened before me, now I'm on the scene. And listen, timing is everything. I've been called for this, and so when that yeah. eagle soared, that it woke something up in if you. If the, if we teach the truth, if we clearly explain it, something's gonna wake up. Yes. 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 And they'll never be the same. Yes. Yes. That's why we need to grow yes. and go so. and show. Yes. 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 We, we going. And we showing the wrong thing because we're not growing right. up in the right thing. But if you go and really grow, you can show the right thing. Right. Did you hear me? Yes. So, so, so God is trying to wake something up in you. Yes. You have not, you're not at this church for no reason. Right. Praise God. No reason. There's a purpose. Yes. Everybody has a purpose. Yes. So get closer and, and, and tell your pastor, Pastor, hey, you study? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Don't be telling me no, don't be giving me milk and then the, the milk you give is rotten. That's right. Come on. You ain't even giving me no steak. You're giving me milk and that's that's for it. <laughs> Listen, we're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. Listen. What you do? God is calling you. He's calling you. He's calling you. He's calling you. He is either calling you, watch this here, to himself. Then he's calling you to go out for himself. Yes. He's calling you to recommitment. Amen. Recommitment. Amen. He's calling you. Now, he took five abilities, two abilities and one ability, and he entrusted his goods to his servants. Yes. God is trusting you with his goods. He's given you the custody of it yes. to grow it. What are you doing with what God has called you to do? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Are you working? Are you busy? Wait a minute. Are you going back to school? Nurses don't go to school one time and it's one and done. They keep on going. I can't, I can't, listen, watch this here. It, 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 listen, watch this. Somebody in here was going to school for nursing and you stopped. Don't, don't stop at an LVN. Keep on going. Keep on going. Listen, I, I know I know you can make a decent amount of money as a, um, uh, what do they call it? They're not a doctor, but the one right before. Nurse practice. Yeah. 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 Physician's yeah. assistant. Yeah. But in your heart, you really want to be a, a physician. Yeah. Keep on going. That's right. Do the hard work. And then when you get there, open up your own facility. Come on. Okay. Okay. How, and how many locations is uh, Harrison Butler? One location. So, so how can I expand? I, we said that the commission is for expansion. How can I expand? We divide it up. We develop people. We prepare people who have the same heart as you. Uh -huh. Who cares like I care. And we dispatch them. Yes. This is expansion. But before we can do any of that, Do you know why you're here? Don't, don't sell yourself short. You're, you're, you're here for more than going to your nine to five. I hope that's not, I hope your life is not centered around that. You're here, you're made for that. Get busy doing the commission, the command that God has given you. I don't care how young you are. You would not be here unless God had a purpose for your life. And your purpose is not to pest me, pester me, and pester others. No, seriously. Your purpose is to fulfill your kingdom builder. Yes. Yeah, come yes. on. Today, yeah. make a difference Beautiful. in somebody's life. Yeah. Yes. How about you make a difference in your own child's life? Wow. Come on. Amen. I don't ever want to be a pastor and a preacher that is so concerned with other men. And not invest in that young man. That's right. Amen. 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 This this Amen. girl, I'm I'm telling everybody else. Oh God, you can make it. Yeah. I, I, when I in, when I send a message, I say I say I, I, I say to my daughter, That's have, it. have a great day. Yeah. Yeah. I say to my son, you know you know he man. I say <laughs> I say I love you, son. Love you, dad. That's <laughs> I believe talking to and investing in those that are yours yeah. sets them, them up yes. for success. Yes. Pour them in, pushing them. What is what? What are you here for? Don't get mad if, if if your offspring is not doing anything if you haven't taken the time to pour into them before you encourage somebody else's child. Yeah, that's very you know what my father taught me? He said, it's a poor dog that won't wag its own tail. Okay, all right. <laughs> Whack your own tail. Yes. Mm. That's right. Mm. What are you here for? Yeah. What's your call? <coughs> Be praying. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to help you identify. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to get you out there and get you busy for okay. the king. Yeah. That's right. So we can be good. So you can be good and God will be glorified. Amen. 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 I need somebody. I need somebody to help him pray. I want. I want to pray for you today. Can somebody? Can somebody? It doesn't have to be another man. It can be. It can be one of our ladies. But I need. I need. We want to pray. We want to pray that God would uh, help us to connect with 
Help us to recommit ourselves to you. Help us to find out why we are here so that we can be busy about what God has called us to do. Listen, this is a, this is a place of vulnerability. Who in here know the Lord? They, they have accepted him as their personal Lord and Savior. That, that, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. That you know that if something was to happen tonight, you know where you're going. Do we all know where we're going? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? You know what? I want you to come help me pray. Sister, Sister Mo. Come on, Sister Mo. If it's not a family affair, it's just an affair. We, we believe in families doing ministry. This is family. This is family. What's your name? Y'all smiling too hard. <laughs> Y'all love each other, huh? Uh, wow. Hmm. You know, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be who, who, who would like to accept the Lord Jesus as their personal Savior? Who would, who would like to? Listen, he'll love you even better than your best friend, yeah, yeah. your mother. He'll always be there. And guess what I love about him? Everything I've ever done, he already knows it. And he says, come talk to me about it. And I won't embarrass you. Yeah, yeah. I, I won't kick you. Yeah. I'll listen. Yeah. I'll love you. And I'll change you. Yeah. Some of us have been wounded. Some of, some, watch this. some of us are upset with Clinton because the Lord didn't do what we thought he was supposed to do. Oh, my, my, my. Why do you let my life be like this, Lord? You know what the Lord said? Because I want you to call on me yeah. so you can get to know me in this situation. Yeah. He wants to save you. Yeah. He wants to heal you. He wants to set you free. Have you ever had some problems that you, you, you tried to stop? Look, 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 begin, begin. What we call that? A New Year a new, yeah, new year resolution, right? I know we say New Year's resolution. We have a New Year re resolution, and we stopped maybe for three months. But the pressure come on. And we jump right back into it. That's because we did it. But if God do it, it's good. David says he delivers me from all of my fears, all of my troubles, all of all, many are the afflictions, but he gives everything I everything. Mama Fady can test. I, I, I don't know how many years she's been walking with the Lord, but she's been walking a, a long time. Amen. She's a living example Amen. of what God can do. What God can do. Am I talking good, Mama Fady? So, 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 what's your hold up? What's your hold up? What's your hold up? Where we at? We all saved here? Are we? If you're not sure, then don't raise your hand.
she never talked to you about it. She don't play about her coffee. So, so we're going to move on to this portion. She has, she has decided. And I, I like when you don't have to, but you, we don't have to force nobody. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. I got us. So, so since you since you led out on that, I'm gonna give an opportunity for those that would like to make this place their church home. Now, watch this here. If you're here, we need you to serve what God has called you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this this is that opportunity. If you want to make, if they, if, if you want to. Now, now we we have some members that have joined the church. They haven't. They, they told me it was like, Pastor, this this is my church. They we gonna make it official. But they but we took. They had to go somewhere. They said next Sunday. My, my coworker. And, you know you know what the miracle is because he sees me in a different light. Yeah. 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 Elder Randall. My, my, I mean, it's different at work. Yes. Different at home. Cut yeah. up. <laughs> no, he's right. I'm a bunch of. I'm, a, I'm around a bunch of. Called me, she was like, Pastor, I'm not gonna be able to make it. But we're 
go watch online. Yeah. But she did, she did, she wants to get here. Yeah. She said, I'll be back next Sunday. Yeah. That baby came to church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The Lord wants to use you. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord, the, the Lord yeah. you already know. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. What? The baby. Yeah. 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 I know y'all want to smile. <laughs>
So yesterday we had our men's uh, ministry, our iron men, Amen. and it, it's it's really really coming together. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes. We talked about our growth. Amen. We talked about being accountable. Amen. And we had we had a good turnout, but our focus really is on production. You know, we want to be we want we want to push. Um, people seeing our growth. Amen. Um, a lot of you bring your, your sons. We want you to see your sons grow. Amen. We want you to see your husbands grow, etc. Et yes. So that's one of the things that we, uh, we're really pushing right now. And then we're going to have Brother Bo explain what, you know, some of the things he felt. Oh. Amen. Um, well, I can testify to the fact uh, simply because I've been there. Um, for every uh, meeting we had so far. And I can tell you, it has truly uh, blessed my life. One thing I realized is that men need encouragement. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Men need godly wisdom. And men need hope today more than ever. Yes. Come on. Eight men are eight more times, eight more. Eight more times more likely to go to prison than women. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. So we need each other. Yes. We need the encouragement from the brothers to lift one another up, yes. yeah. to encourage one another. One thing I can tell you is that, as the minister was saying earlier, God sees you. He knows where you're at in your life. Mm -hmm. And I can testify to the fact that when I met this brother, this body of people, I had just lost my mom. The next year, I lost my sister. And the next year, I lost my dad, which is just months ago. Yes. So I will say my faith was never compromised. Mm -hmm. But I was wounded. Yes. 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 I was in a valley. Yes. But Job said, though that the stove would slay me. Yes. 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 So it was God's time when I met this brother. Yes. This bald head gentleman with fire. Yes. Fire doing this. Yes. I was restored. Yes. It gave me hope again. My goodness. My soul was alive again. Yes. My walk was restored. Yes. To be a part of that, yeah. it renewed me. Yes, Lord. So yes. I'm thankful and I'm yes. grateful for that. Yes. Another person on fire, yes. just like I was when I was temporarily wounded. Yes. 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 So the fire was back. Thank you, Yes, it is. Light spirits, kindred spirits is, is what you need to be around. Yes, so even you. our young men, being there, that was men of all ages. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Baby was here. Yeah. Right? Our young men need us. Yeah. Pastor yeah. Onyx yeah. was here. Right. Oh, <laughs> right. He was in, he was in too. Yeah. So I'm just, that's, it's needed in this day. Yes. Yes. Men's yes. needed. Yes. I know the women do their thing. But our brothers, sometimes we get yes, off to we, ourselves yeah, and we uh -huh. want to come on, but we need each other. Yeah. That's right. we, we build up, we build on uh, upon one another. Yeah. So I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, Deacon Q, um, you know, um, putting it all together. And I'm just excited through the week. I'm excited about coming. Yeah. So uh, that's all. So if, if you yeah. haven't been, please come. Yeah. So with that, um, I just want to take this time to pray. Not only for the tithes and offering, but for this ministry. Yes. Yes. Um, so, Heavenly Father, we just thank you, O oh Lord, thank you, Lord, for being here today, O oh yes. Lord. Yes. And what comes to mind to me, O oh Lord, when you mention those seven churches of Asia, O oh Lord, it was the yes. church of Philadelphia, yes. the church of brotherly love, O oh yes. Lord. That's what I feel. I feel the hospitality oh, yes. when I come into this uh, amongst this body of people, O oh Lord. So we just want to thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you. We want to lift each other up, O oh Lord. When Moses was wounded, O oh Lord, it was Aaron and her who lifted up his hands. Yes. So what did that show us, O oh Lord? As we lift one another up, O oh Lord, we're, we're going to win the battle. Yes. In fact, the battle has already been won. It's already been won. We just have to go through it. But we need to lift one another up, to build one another to exhort one another, to edify one another. That is what the body of Christ is all about. So we just want to thank you, Lord. We thank you for the tithes and offerings that the storehouse will be filled, oh Lord. We, the, the Bible loves cheerful givers. No pressing, no pushing, but cheerful givers. Cheerful. So we love you. The Bible said prove them. Yeah. Amen. She's going to pour you out a blessing. Yes, so yes, we just, yes. that you can't even have it. So we thank you, yes. Just yes. Thank, thank you for the ministry, o Lord. Continue thank to you, Lord. lift up uh, the ministry as you lift up your people, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We are dismissed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.